Cruise with Gina Gina. The News with Gina Grant. All right, what do we got, Gina Grant? Well, Fox News reports that Jesse Smollett might have been a no-show at Saturday night's NAACP Image Awards Oh, in that's what I was, yeah, that's what I was bugging you about, Max Pat. I remember talking about the Garagas thing. Was yeah, we, on, we have it. Was that on our... Did I make it onto our list? Oh, I did, I, it wasn't on the screen, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's a no-no. Yeah, it's a no-no. <laughs> well, I, I want to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. We have it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. My brother's outside going, what's that thing I want to talk to you about, but we didn't talk about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why is it on our list? Oh, um, I, I, must have, I just forgot to put it on. That's a no-no. Yeah, All I right. Know. This is I know, the number one thing I want to get into <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I was talking again. So I've taken a ton of shit on uh, Twitter this uh, week because – or last week because – I was doing Reasonable Doubt, my podcast I do with Garagas, and Garagas mm-hmm. is telling me all kinds of stories about Jesse Smollett that no, nobody believes. And there's a couple things going on. Garagas will uh, – I'm trying to word it. I don't want to sound like an excuse, but Garagas is on, on Skype mm-hmm. out of New York. And everyone's like, I want you to grill Garagas, but you can't grill Garagas uh, and, and not when he's out of the room. Yeah. Like he's got to be here and you've got to be able to have that back and forth with him. He will filibust. And also, while I'll, I'll tell you, if you talk to Garagas about like Scott Peterson, like Scott Peterson, you go, oh, come on, that guy's guilty. But if you talk to Garrigan's about Scott Pearson, he'll start making you think about Actually, things. Actually, yeah. And you'll go, oh, I didn't know they wouldn't let him. Oh, so she was by the park and they had cell phones, but they didn't give you the cell phone, whatever. Like, eh, you'll still think he's guilty. But I wanted to hear what his take on Smollett was, who, by the way, as we've talked about it, you're supposed to say Jesse, even though everyone says mm-hmm. Jesse because it's spelled that way. But His birth name is <laughs> Justin. He, right, or something. I don't know why. I don't know why, but he says it's Jesse. Okay. I've only heard that from you. Well, no, I only heard it from Garrigus. I didn't make... I know, I know. I don't think you're making it up. But I'm I would like, call him just... I was calling him Jesse Smollett the whole time, and then Garrigus yeah. kept calling him Jesse Smollett, and then I said to him, why are you calling him Jesse Smollett? And he said, that's what he wants to be called. This that's, will be that's how he says his name. To be addressed in the upcoming clip for the news. Anyway. Um, it is? Yeah, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's anyway. a joke, but yes. Well, my thing is like this guy represents him, and that's what he says he wants to be called. I don't know him, so I'm I'm going with Jesse. Yeah. It's spelled Jesse. Anyway, or looks like Jesse. Anyway, uh, so I said, in, in amidst all this stuff he was talking about, and it's all what we talked about, he's going to put the city of Chicago on trial, and it's not going to look good because they're basically, it's sort of like, the drug dealer's apartment and you're going, the cops mishandled this and that. And you're going, yeah, but that does that guy want to open the door and let people into that apartment and really look around? And because he's going to find something. And Garagas is was going to put the, the system on trial, like we speculated. But there's something, a bomb he dropped that nobody picked up on, on Twitter and uh, even... Uh, Gary, who was producing the show, didn't pick up on it. And so I had to go back and say, did you hear what Garagas said about Jesse and or Jesse and uh, one of the brothers? And uh, we got the clip so you guys can can listen to it because I, this is an angle. So I'll, I'll uh, paint the picture. Garagas' thing isn't that the two Nigerian guys weren't the, the guys. Mm-hmm. That story is now seems to be clear. Those were the guys. His angle is Jesse didn't put him up to it. He was attacked by the, the Nigerian bodybuilders. Everyone agrees on that, but here's the new spin. He didn't contract them to okay. do it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, so tell me why. And he has a new a new spin. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. We've narrowed it down to is it's not two white guys. It's two Nigerian brothers. They had a, 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 a some kind of a relationship going into this. The one brother you said made some homophobic uh, slurs, but uh, who hasn't dropped an F-bomb a time or two in their <laughs> life? It doesn't mean I'm going down to a oil can Harry's and uh, opening a can of whoop ass. <laughs> Don't ever go to Oil Can Harry's and open a can of whoop ass. That is a bad day. So 
Uh, still kind of curious what their motives would be. So to, I'll to just do say this. that one of one the younger brother did end up spending the night at uh, Jesse's house close in time to when this uh, attack took place. I'll leave, I'll leave it at that. Is that the, I think is oh, there's a relationship. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And mm, I uh, got it. At, I mean, uh, I you know it's it's a uh, it's kind of a. There was a thing, I think it was uh, Rosie O'Donnell was just talking about a, a book with, uh, came out the book and was talking about fighting with, uh, God, what's her name? Uh, Hasselback. Her? Hasselback. Right. And then at some point said, uh, well, I think I had a kind of a crush on her simultaneously while we were, while we were arguing. Um, so there's possibly a physical sexual component to this that nobody's really brought up thus far i right mm. it's mm. i've never right. heard that one that's yeah. new doesn't mean he, he didn't put him up to it but it does it is a piece of information that i've never heard before now thought, what do you, you know, think he's saying there i thought i swear i swear on my kid i thought from the second i heard that story i was like this is i think that's this is some kind of gay thing that went wrong I just immediately thought that. I didn't think I've never thought about the brothers being gay, but I was like, this is not he got beat up. It's some it was some gay thing, boyfriend or a lover, and he's well, embarrassed by it, was it a, or uh, originally you know. it was a gay thing that went wrong. It was being gay. Right. Right. But then right. It, it turned so you think about it, these guys look pretty good with their shirt off. Great. And how. Uh, absolutely. Gina, calm down. <laughs> well, here's what I'm thinking. We I never do this math because this is how straight I am. But if <laughs> I am a straight guy, if if Jesse Smollett was straight and his personal trainer was a smoking hot blonde, there'd be constant speculation right. like, oh, come on. He was tapping that. You know, he wanted some of right. that. Now, look, you've seen her in her, uh, her bikini. Like, come yeah. on now. Yeah. So you see these guys with their shirts off and you go, oh, those guys are a piece yeah. of man meat. Right. But he's not interested in that. But wait a minute. No. Yeah. Maybe there's an I element know. there. I don't I, know. Well, now, it doesn't. Doesn't mean anything happened or is true or is motivated, yeah. but what what he's saying is lo- more lovers quarrel. I think is what he's proposing. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know how exactly that helps the case he's right. stating. Yeah. But oh, it's still how how it helps him? Yeah, because what what Garagos is saying, I think it's Garagos. Anyway, <laughs> what he's what he's saying is is. These guys committed the attack. We've, we've figured that one out, or that's been figured out. So it's going to be hard to unring that bell. Right. But here's the new angle. My client had no pre notions of it. He, he right. was not aware of it. So, well, then why would they attack this guy? Ah, what if there were lovers mm. and there were jilted lovers? Okay. And he was angry and he attacked them that way. Now, that's, I think, what he's trying to. To put out there. I, I'm sure it's what he's trying to put out there. What I've learned about Garagas since meeting him for the first time on this show, I think what makes him a great lawyer is once you're a Garagas client, he goes to bat for you. He goes to bat for you and he won't leave that batter's box until he's knocked one you know, up against the wall. Right. And whether it's coming on this show repeatedly and saying, and I quote, Colin Kaepernick is going to get signed probably the next 10 days is my prediction. Next 10 days he'll be on a team. Right. It'll never happen. It was never a chance of happening. But he's his client. He's his guy. He's going to go to bat for. Him. He's going to do what he has to do for his client. He's doing what he has to do for. You can you restrict it in the court of law to say certain things that are pretty much true or facts. In this world, you can say anything. You hey, they're, they're lovers. Man, hey, lover, lovers back gone wrong. I don't know. Could be. Maybe. Gotta go. I'm on Skype. Yeah, I got to do what we gotta do. <laughs> now I get it. Yeah, but and also you can be. A lover and not have that lover attack you on the street. That, that's very common. Um, right. <laughs> but it, now it's a, an angle that uh, Chris came up with, but I never thought of and I never heard floated out in the news, which is if you're a single 35 year old gay male and you have a very hunky trainer mm-hmm. who's physically working with you. And he's single. Mm-hmm. Why would you not invite that person back to your apartment and spend a little time with them? Like okay. it makes perfect. That yeah. that's never that been brought up. up. Totally adds up. And the part where the person was a lover and didn't may not have left on great terms mm-hmm. is just the what what his job is to put some couple. He he, he takes his little 
a pillowcase of question marks mm-hmm. and he scatters them to the wind. <laughs> like and now you know. Yeah. Oh, like Rip, like Rip Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. What if? What it's, if? See, that's very feasible to me. That makes sense in my See, head. It worked. I'm correct. See? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. The, <laughs> Trump, close. the Trump stuff never, I never, as soon as the Trump thing came in, because like nobody who's a Trump supporter is watching Empire. They're not watching that show and they don't certainly don't know who like the third or fourth character down the call sheet yeah. is on that show. So it's like, no, but the gay stuff in the room, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, gay stuff, go get Subway. I get it. Has anyone ever heard? Yeah, I mean, come on, foot long. It's right well, he title. said he got a salad. I was like, yeah, okay, Jesse. You can't get a salad. What, um, <laughs> has anyone ever heard no. that? No. no. That's a new Nobody one. Nobody has ever reported that. Like I've, I've, It's been on the news, the number one thing, for the last few weeks, yeah. and not one. And Garagas was implying that, right? Yes. I'm yes. actually yeah. leaning towards fully believing that. That's how much Garagos just, I swear, like, that's my new thing. I'm going, I'm leaving the show <laughs> and be like, I know Garagos. what happened with Smollett now. Full-blown Garagos. Well, again, I'll go full-blown Garagos. If, if I got a, you know, if I'm single and I got a super piping hot, you know, blonde trainer who's single and yeah. I'm single and I'm living hey. in my apartment, I, I don't know why I'm not making, yeah, making a shot. move toward that. 100%. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah. Done and done. Yeah. Case closed. I'm in. <laughs> well, the reason we were talking about that is because uh, Chris Rock did not mm. stop uh, from blasting Jesse a little bit, even though they asked him not to. Oh, well, my at grandma the checked NWA. in. It's actually Jesse. Oh, thank yeah, you, Jesse Jose Jose Smollett. Jose Smollett. Jose Smollett. Correcting so, from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> so we now we know. Is this the whatever? What? This is the Image Awards. Image Awards. Yeah, and uh, of course we we know everything that happened with Jesse. So let's just go to the clip. He was uh, nominated. Yes, but uh, a no show. Oh, a no show. But yeah, he, he did yeah. not attend the event. He came Chris, out to Los Chris Angeles to attend the event. Mm. Well, according mm. to this, he was a no show, and uh, they said, please, no jokes. And Chris Rock said, F that. I was watching. Great. I'm Chris Rock. Yeah. TMZ. <laughs> Love it. Well, listen, it, it's my, you know, Monica Lewinsky <clears throat> will do your podcast, but just to talk about her handbags, you can't talk to her <laughs> about blowing the presents. Like, I, then it's weird. Then yeah. it's, it, it's, I'm not doing my job, yeah. and everyone's yeah. going to yell. Yell at you. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I guess I got to present an award. They said no Jesse Smollett jokes. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I know. What a waste of light skin, you know? (laughs) I just just goes right into it. What do with that light skin? (laughs) That curly hair, my career would be out of here. He's fucking running Hollywood. <laughs> um, yes, no, 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 just. Did, <laughs> what the hell was he thinking? <laughs> from now on, I ain't never gonna know just. You're Jesse from now on. You don't even get the you no more. That you was respect. You ain't getting no respect from me. He's it was been addressed. nominated for Great. years in a row now. One, 2017. Wow. Yeah, I flew out to L.A. on Wednesday. So the speculation right. on my favorite show, TMZ, is that he was flying out for, for the that. Awards, yeah. The heat was probably a little too hot. That's right. To attend the event. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of celebrities, he comes up every once in a while. In fact, I think you just uh, brought him up when we were talking about Nick Cage. Jim Carrey's drawings have received a lot of attention since he took it up as a hobby, and his latest sketch has landed him in a feud with the granddaughter of Benito Mussolini. So Carrie's weekend drawings show the former Italian dictator and uh, Adolf Hitler ally hanging upside down next to his mistress, Claretta, after their executions. The picture is captioned, quote, if you're wondering what fascism leads to, just ask Benito Mussolini and his mistress, Claretta. Um, so Alessandra Mussolini. Is this Jim Carolla wrote? Did this cartoon or just, I can't yeah. read it from here. Carry, carry all yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was pissed. She says, you're a bastard. She then suggested that the actor draw other historical events like slavery in America and the bombing of Hiroshima. And Carrie hasn't responded to that just yet. But like, what is she? <laughs> the bombing of Hiroshima was already covered by Green Day in the Dookie album. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So that's just redundant. Yeah. Now you're ripping off another artist's work. <laughs> is she denying that that's, her grandfather was a dictator? That's the thing. I mean, it was what it was. Yeah, yes. it's like it was, know, it's historically lay low on this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, how about the fact that they strung up his mistress? Yeah, that's pretty good. And the hunger from the town score said Florence or As a Rome warning is, to the others. Is, yeah. Like yeah. I, I would if I was the mistress, <laughs> yeah. I would 
I, w- I, I think I could have made a good. I would have got uh, Garagas to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, like, look, like, let's just do the math. Yeah. You bust into this guy's apartment. I'm a street whore and I'm blowing him. Does that mean I get strung, strung up? up? Or yeah. like, where does it end to, yeah. with Every you? Throat. You understand? We didn't get married and sire his kids. Right. I, I've been around for about six yeah. months now. On the payroll. Yeah. And, like, yeah. To string up the Gumar is hilarious. Yeah, it's a guy, crazy thing. The guy's to do. running the country. You wouldn't blow yeah, him? Give me a that break. That was his wife that wanted that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nobody preened like like Mussolini. Like nobody did when those those shots of him like folding yeah. his arms. Oh, nobody yeah. looked more mustachioed, satisfied. Mustachioed Mussolini. That's the good one. Yeah, yeah. He, he he had his arms folded. And he just preened. It was a great it was a great look. But yeah, string up the mistress mm-hmm. sends a message. Sends a message indeed. Also. She could have been in the prime of her screwing years, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's, yeah. there's more tread on this tire. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Let's don't throw it in the landfill. I, I feel like she needed argument. to make a few arguments. Yeah. That's obviously a, a, a crowd, a mob that's not really thinking yeah. thinking straight. Oh, uh, you got you don't have Mussolini preening. Yeah, he's not warm. He's preening. There's shots. There's footage of him at his rallies. Just You think, um, you think Trump preens. Mm. Mussolini invented... This smug yeah. brain, like, oh, I'm so <laughs> self-satisfied. It's crazy. All right. But uh, they strung up. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Did he have a wife? You got to have a wife if you have a mistress. If you have a mistress, sure. Well, that, that's why I thought that's if, the if, grand, if that's it was his, wife, comes his wife made the call to hang up the Gumar. Oh, that's what I thought. She did it. She yeah. was the one that was like, listen, you You're know, mistress too. I, yeah, you could I'll just hang up the mistress. And they were mm. like, all right, we get it. Yeah. Mm. Mussolini. Listen, uh, folks who act. And folks who do comedy, no painting for you. Yeah. Immediately, you get all your, all your, your, your loving, your creative cup gets filled. You make mediocre paintings. You don't do any more good movies. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a. I, oh, there come it on, is. Ace Ventura. Nice. Talk out of your ass. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's some Dr. I, Drew smugly preening right there. No. Yeah. Max Pat is still footage. Oh not, God. no. Footage. That's why I use the word footage. Uh huh. Footage, not still pictures, of yeah. him just folding his arms and just self-satisfied. Crazy, crazy. Oh, there, yeah. it is. there, there we go. There. He's a gift. Oh. This is the gif oh. I, I send oh. this gif all the time when he does his hands out yeah. and folds. Like when you do that thing where you're like yeah. I got to fold my arms, but first I got to stretch it out. <laughs> There's a gif of him walking with Hitler too, that where he's like really high step and even like they're walking into something and he's he's preening big time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. I bet he was doing less yeah. of that when he was hanging yeah. upside down with yeah. piano wire. He's playing to the that back was, that was my That was my father talking to the principal. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was, just straight Mussolini. I got fi- I That's got a uh, no-no. I got, That's sus- a no-no. <laughs> I got suspended <laughs> from my uh, North High. I got suspended in high school, too. And uh, Mr. Uh, God, Mr. Tomey was my principal. Hmm. And so he called me into his windowless office, and he was getting ready to suspend me and in order to suspend you one a student you have to get to go into the file and you pull out their emergency card Mm -hmm. and the emergency card was handed out uh, so when you would when you would uh, sign up for classes, they'd give you the emergency card like two days beforehand. Mm-hmm. You have to take the emergency card home. Your parents would have to fill it out and all right. that kind of junk. And then you'd bring it back. And then when you signed up for new classes, you had to hand them the emergency card first with your parents' work and work number and waste and emergency so they get hold of the parents. I wouldn't take anything home. I would just leave it in my locker, but then it would come time to get the classes. So I'd be like, oh, I got this stupid card here, and they're not going to let me do my classes. So I just stood in line with some of my buddies waiting to take that. We made a joke. We made a joke about everything. It's like 17 year old jokes. Like, where mom's work address, Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> She's a streetwalker, you know? And like a pimp's name, like for her boss. And then, like, yeah. the, and my dad's, my dad, I remember just saying he worked for the government. And then everything, all the numbers and all the addresses and everything was just, was just classified. Just everything's real <laughs> classified on it. And then my home address, I wrote Ronald McDonald Halfway House for like yeah. pregnant, pregnant teens or something. It's insane. And you hand it in. They don't look at it. And they're never going to look at it until you get suspended. Yeah. And then when I got suspended, it was like... You know, nine months later, and Mr. Tomey, like, pulls his file out, and he pulls the thing out, and he looks at it, and he looks at it for a couple of beats, and he's like, and then he looks at me, and then he looks back down, and he goes, did you fill out this card? And I was like, 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably not. I mean, he took it home or whatever, and he like slid it across me, and it was filled with nonsense. Like, just in, <laughs> insanity. Your tell was laughing. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know how to get hold of your dad. And I'm like, I don't either. Yeah. And I realized I was being busted while I was being suspended. For most so people, meta. it's the suspension part. That, yeah. yeah. But I looked at, I was such a horrible student. I was like, stay home for three days? Yeah. And not have to pretend like I'm sick? It's Can better. Can done do. and done. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Chia. Well, this isn't exactly breaking news, but because I'm pretty sure it was an April Fool's joke, we have to play it. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has dropped a surprise rap single. He tweeted a link to a song called R.I.P. Harambe. This is dedicated to the 17-year-old gorilla who was shot by a Cincinnati zoo worker in 2016 after he uh, grabbed a three-year-old boy who fell in the enclosure. Um, Again, Assuming there was a reason it dropped on the first, here's here's the song. You can call your own out because it's it's pretty amazing. All y'all gorillas. Is he singing this? Yeah. This is the greatest indictment of rap ever. Which is like, I, I, Elon Musk has dropped a hot track. I when I turn on SNL and uh, they do a great parody. Yeah, like like you have uh, Yeezy up there pointing at the ceiling. I'm like, I I don't know the difference between that and this. So it's not the same. I, I, I don't I don't know that this, there's a skill level that's different, and I know. Everyone, Gary, I'll tell you why Con- Kanye West is a genius, and I'll go. All right, well, Elon's a genius too, I guess. I- <laughs> yeah, this is gonna hit the club scene ASAP. Oh, for sure, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's actually, not a bad song. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. All right. It's a new theme. Just to pop your head to it. I, it's the same. I, I. It's a. It's a huge indictment of rap, which is this is the same to me. Yeah. And again, you you could you could make fun of uh, Ben Folds or the band Chicago or something, but you couldn't do what they do. This right. is just doing, this is, what, yeah, they do. doing what they do. Yeah. All right. Elon no. proved that. All right. Let's bring it home. You got it. I'm Gina Grad, and that's the news. I'm a street whore, and I'm blowing it. Gina, Gina. That was the news with Gina Grad.